Alright. Let's try that again. Now that I'm expecting. Okay, I didn't see that the first time. I, I don't know if you did, but I didn't see that the first time. I definitely did not notice that. Or this. Get the health pack. Doors open. Ah. See, it's kind of an unfair advantage. Even if I die, I get to come back and I'll know where you're going to be. Douchebag. I am the better player. trying to get that one. It's for sticking five guys to a wall. Or, uh, I guess the floor. With this, whatever this gun is. It's actually a really nice gun because if you put the trigger down, it goes full auto. You can just tap it, it can be semi. It's pretty powerful, especially online. And this one. Oh, this one. Saving that one. Flamethrower. Eh, not so good. But, uh, also an achievement for getting, I think, 10 kills with a flamethrower. It's really not that easy, because they just, I mean, they'll light on fire and kind of stumble back, but they'll get right up. You gotta light them on fire a couple times. Jesus! Oh my god. Did he lunge at me or what? See, that didn't, like, affect him at all. Uh oh Are there three of them? Oh, no! Oh. Yeah, using up all my health packs before is going to come back to bite me now. Okay, back here again. saw some gameplay on Fear 3. See, I just recently got into the Fear genre. It's really, really good. Fear 1 was, uh... I was actually talking to some guys in GameStop about it. It's a huge hit on the PC. Like everyone loved it on the PC. It was pretty good. Even for Xbox. But, uh... A lot of the campaign in the beginning, I mean, it was much further back. I think it was... It came out 2006, so older graphics, obviously, but a lot of copying and pasting of, like, scenery like the walls and terrain and everything, so it just kind of got a little more near the end of the game. But this one is really, I like it, it's fresh, I love the graphics, I like the whole, just the game's, like, engine. I just like the way it is, and it looks like Fear 3 is the same as Fear 2, but just polished graphics, which is really nice. And uh, apparently there's going to be co-op. I don't know how I feel about that in a horror game. Like, The best kind of horror games are the horror games you can't play with your friends because you're all alone. It's that feeling of being alone and secluded where no one, none of your friends, none of the AI is going to come to help you. It's universally supernatural. That's what I love about it, but the co-op looks interesting. I don't fully understand the story yet, mostly because I haven't beaten this game yet. And the first game story was a little bit hard to follow. But, um, I get the general thing or about the whole Project Origin and everything surrounding Alma, like, pretty much just a spawn of evil. That's, I understand that, that's all I really need to get, I think. 
But I, I really do like the story, and I hope by the end of this game I can get into it. And I think Fear 3 might... I don't want to go saying anything. Because it seems like Fear has a pretty unknown multiplayer. Even the first one was good. Just the, uh, the one assault rifle was overpowered, but... I don't know. Hey, there that is. But yeah, I, I'm hoping Fear 3 might actually kind of pull up to be a pretty cool multiplayer. I really do like this one. So. Well, people played it. Great. I'm going shots for that. Yeah, I think Fear 3 is probably where the Fear saga is going to end. So I'll give you more like a trilogy. Because I guess Alma is pregnant now. And when she has mood swings, like dimensional rifts open up. Which is kind of like hot and creepy at the same time. I guess if you want to look at it that way. But uh, I think the story will be good anyways. The co-op thing is kind of interesting. And the game just looks amazing in general. And I am lost. This this is the only thing about Fear Games. Oh, I bet I can pull that up, huh? It happened more in Fear 1, where I just walk around for 10 minutes, which is probably why I couldn't finish the game. Like, I got that game almost a year ago at this point, and it took me the entire length of the time from when I had the game to finish it only... I must have only finished it like a month ago just because there were just certain repeating processes where you keep walking through the same building and it looked exactly the same. There'd be a different way to go through stuff and God, I would get lost so often. <laughs>